All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We are in Istanbul, Turkey, right outside the beautiful Grand Bazaar. It's another beautiful day, and I'm super hungry. We're meeting up with our friends at Culinary Backstreets and their wonderful guide, Benwad, who's going to take us for a full-on street food tour of the Grand Bazaar. Let's check it out, guys. This is it, the Grand Bazaar of Istanbul, where you can find hundreds of stalls and restaurants all serving incredibly delicious Turkish street food right before your eyes. And today, Culinary Backstreets is bringing us full on to a bunch of their favorite spots. Let's check it out. Hi, Benoit. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. Yes. Another day. Yes, and we are doing the Grand Bazaar today, the hidden gems of the Grand Bazaar. Awesome. So, so check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, and what's uh, this here? This is the owner. Hello. He's from Martin. Nice to meet you. And here's the chef. Hello. Uh, he will maybe show us how nice the seed is uh, working. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Making like kebab, right? Kebab. Making kebab, yeah. So this is Mardin, one oh, of the oldest wow. cities in the world, you see. And he's making the Mardin kebab? Uh, he will be making it. Uh, wow. Now they are cleaning the meat, the lamb. Oh, it's going to be good. Yeah, and the name of this place is Sheikh Mus. Sheikh Mus Kebab. Sheikh Kebab. And they have the speciality of Sheikh Mus Kebab, in which they add some uh, pistachio. Add uh, pistachio in, in, the, in kebab, the kebab. In the kebab. Oh, wow. And you can see he's a master of removing the bones. Like everything is just so precise. Oh. So this, so this is beef. Beef. Oh, adding the pepper in. Here. Oh, and then Here the, the tail fat. Tail fat. Yeah. The, the lamb fat. fat. Oh. Uh, oh. Here we go. Wow. Look at the blade. <laughs> Look at the size of that. It's huge. Oh, there it is. And this is the traditional way. Yes. Wow, it's getting fine really quickly. Yeah. It's very efficient. Oh, okay, and then just mixing it up and, and going even more. They've been here for 45 years. 45 years? Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. it's an old, it's classic joint. Yeah, yeah, classic joint. Beautiful. So he's just added in that fat and yeah, salt yeah, mix. Yeah. This is awesome. So they've got the kebab station here and then they've got a, a, a wood fired oven in the back and that's for the, the breads, right? Or... Yes, for the bread. Oh, what's this? Kadaif. Wow, it's a giant kadaif. Oh, and this is the syrup. Yeah. Oh, oh it's gonna saturate in there. Wow. Oh. Nuts. Nuts, yes. walnut, pistachio. Yeah. Wow, okay, it looks amazing. Wow. So this is what we call guwech. It's like a sort of stew. Uh, wow. Uh, Tomato, eggplant, pepper. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're gonna get a bunch of varieties of kebabs and he's just gonna put some eggplant kebab on for a giant eggplant kebab. Okay, so this is the start of La Machun, famous exactly. Turkish flatbread. Yeah. So he's just rolling it out flat. This is the ground meat for La Machun. Yes, yeah. Oh, look at that spiced meat. Here we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, looking good. Turkish lama chun. What a team. Incredible team. Turkish pizza. So the different version of lama chun. Some of them have garlic, other don't. Here, they like it with onions. And we're going in. Thank you, chef. Okay, let's pull the lama chun out. Here it is. Turkish lama chun. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, parsley. The onion with sumac, a little lemon, and then Benoit just brought me some chili. Oh, and some chai! <laughs> Thank you! Let's try it out. Chai sorna. Chai sorna. Oh, it's got that spiced meat, onion aroma to it, and the toasted smokiness from that oak wood oven. Wow, and it's really getting fine now. There's a lot of kebab meat here. Oh, and he's making the kebab here. Plain kebab. Plain kebab. So it's super fresh. It goes from being minced to kebab to grill. So it's the same type as Adana. The difference is this is flat and this is sort of more round. Oh, it's the shape. So, so it, it's the shape of the skewer. Oh, and this is Sheikh Moose. Yeah. So he's making patties and then loading it with tomato. Oh, and double wrap. This is the pistachio, the pistachio. Oh, pistachio <laughs> in the kebab yeah, patty? Yeah, in the kebab. So there's two varieties here. The pistachio and the tomato version, yeah. right? Looking good. And here's ours. This is the pistachio one, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh. And then some variety. Oh, and then pepper. Wow. There it is. Beautiful. Wow. Oh, thank you. This is like super unique that pistachio kebab. And then we got some lamachun. 
with the pepper paste, the tomato, the onion. They're using the onion yeah, here, right? Yeah, of garlic, yes. And then we got the bulgur, and that's cooked in like a tomato sauce, or? Yeah, exactly. And yes. then some mezes. Mezes, and here we have the stew. Oh. Uh, that we've seen uh, in a big pot earlier on. Look at on. that. That's the eggplant, tomato, pepper, coffee yeah. meat yeah, and stew. And beef. But I think what we have to try first is the pistachio. The shake mousse, yeah, yeah. Shake mousse, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Loaded with pistachio. pistachio. Yes, yes. And you can see it's like mixed with the chili and the pepper and the regular spices. There it is. Look at that. Try it out. Yep. That's it. The pistachio. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. The pistachio is giving a little bit of a nuttiness. Yeah. And then it's spicy at the same time. You wouldn't think that would work, but it does. Mmm. Next up, maybe we should try this. Exactly. The, uh, what's the this called? Gubich. Gubich. Gubich stew. Gubich. Pepper. Uh, it's cooked in the oven with eggplant, pepper, tomatoes, and beef. Try it out. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Yeah. Tastes like a tomato soup. Okay, so we're gonna keep eating, and then yeah. Benoit is bringing us further in to the old market, and we're gonna see what we can find. Got it. Great. Thank you. That was delicious. The best. Bye Thank bye, you, Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Thank bye, you. bye, Mehmet. See you bye again. Bye. Thank you so much. And just look at how beautiful these old alleyways of Istanbul is. The Grand Bazaar is just up ahead, right? Yeah, it's just on the left oh. of this building. And look at this. What's this here? Beyond this, this is a mosque. Mosque? A mosque of the 18th century. Just love this country and this city. Turkey is incredible. Let's go see what else we're going to have. What's this? Uh, they are from Kemalye. Hello. Kemalye. A great Hello. people, fantastic. Oh, they have one fantastic. of the best cockroach in Istanbul. Cockroach? Yeah, incredible cockroach here. Oh, cockroach. Cockroach, cockroach. Wow, so this is the baby lamb intestine wrapped around a skewer and loaded with spices and then put in a sandwich, right? Exactly, exactly. Oh. And uh, with different spices. So a little chili, a little oregano, oregano and salt. And some secrets. Uh, oh, like to eat that? okay, the coco rich. Coco rich. Coco rich. Okay, a little chili, little. No, 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 one Oh, a little salt on there. Thank you. Oh, right off the grill. Let's try it out. Perfecto. Mmm. Perfecto. Wow. Oh. Oh, he's making a sandwich. And look at all the bread he just pulled out. Wow, you can get a giant cockroach sandwich. Yeah. Wow, it's got that smoky, oh, juicy it. smell. It smells amazing. Like caramelized meat. There's lots of fatty goodness, oregano, chili, salt, and ready to enjoy. Okay, and there's the cockroach sandwich. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So it's essentially the baby lamb intestine, right? Exactly. Wrapped around. Uh, well, it's a sweet bread uh, wrapped with intestines to keep it all together and roast it for about two hours on the charcoal. Roast it over the charcoal, and you can see they've got them just right over the charcoal here. And then they hollow out the bread, like we just watched, and load it with spices. And uh, that's a sweet bread. It doesn't have the organ odor, like it's just kind of like a, a seasoned sweet bread. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's delicious. Let's keep exploring. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Thank you. That was delicious. Yeah. And there's lots more spots up here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Lots of spots, lots of donor, yeah. lots of shops, selling all sorts of stuff here. Oh, and what's this? A very nice kebab joint. Oh, the, the look at this. Here. Hello. Oh my goodness, it's like a non-stop kebab station. He's the Usta, his name is Raif. Raif. And the name of the restaurant is Raif Usta. Raif Usta. The name of the restaurant. And they just come right out from this massive fridge of kebab. Look at that. And it's a full kebab grill, like non-stop. So we got the shish, we got the adana, and oh, and the liver. Liver going right on. It's all here. Wow, look at the fat. Oh, right on the bread. So is this like the kebab platter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it's just absolutely crazy, the, the kebab speed that's happening here, guys. Watch this. You can get the wraps or you can get the kebab platter, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, and they're just making it right here, look. <laughs> okay, me. Oh. oh, wow. It's so, so soft. Mm. We ordered a lamb, a whole lamb kebab platter. They're gonna make it right now. Let's see how it's done. Here comes the kebabs. Look at that. 
Look at that, still sizzling. With salad. Oh, we got chicken, liver, adana, tomato. Oh, it's just crazy. And here's the spices. Sumac, chili, cumin. The chili, oh, and then some pepper. And there it is, look yeah, at that. Great taste, great That's taste. the workman's uh, kebab workman platter. Kebab, yeah. And I love the, the, the peppers the on there. You're saying these are really spicy, right? Extremely spicy. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go try them out. Yeah, yeah. So here you make your own sandwich. You can be totally messy and you choose whatever you oh, want. Oh, wow. uh, If you like it with spices. These are uh, called durum, right? Yeah, durum, so like this. Let's start with a small piece. Okay, <laughs> so some madonna, some cheese. Uh, yeah, exactly, or Mixing. you just want one style. You, oh. um, liver here, there's a bit of liver. Oh, Adana. look at that. Then uh, parsley and onions would go well with it. And tomato. Yeah, yeah. Parsley, onion. Okay. And then you finish with a one like of this? these death yeah. level chili. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look at that. So that's real spice. Yeah. And then spices. Oh, okay. On top of it. So a little cumin. Cumin. Some sumac. And uh, flake pepper. And then dried chili. Okay. Yeah, I think you can close it already. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, and the pepper is just bulging there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to bring it the spice. Try it out. Okay, let's try it out. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, I ate the whole pepper here. Oh. Mm. The mixture of the salad and the tomato and the juicy kebab. And then that pepper, I think it's pretty spicy, yeah. But not like too bad, yeah. The adana is fantastic. When you season it with the cumin yeah. and the sumac, it's like... I also like the liver, it's also that. Nice. You like the liver? Oh, that is my favorite. They're so good. Yeah. They're so juicy and fatty. Really, like you don't even need the bread. No. Maybe just sprinkle a little cumin on it. Can you do that? Yeah, of course, yeah. It's yeah? the best way. And then just go in for the kill. It's just like pure joy. Oh. Look, this is another one. So this is for the invited, for us, for the tourists. This is for the locals. No uh, trace. No, no trace. <laughs> Locals. No go. No jam. <laughs> Looking good. Kebab heaven. Look at that. Thank you, Rai Fusta. Thank you, Rai Fusta. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Wow. That was amazing. Fantastic. And now we're back on the streets in the yes. back alleys. Let's keep going. Okay, and Benoit's taking us for more. What's up next, Benoit? So there's a joint uh, I would like to show you. Uh, Yes, where well they have a, a mixture of uh, lung, liver, and then we also uh, uh, go to the Döner Kebab. Okay, and we're in the bazaar now. This is the real Grand Bazaar, where the tourists don't, you don't see tourists here. This is the real Grand Bazaar? Yeah. yeah. All the gold and diamond shops. So this one is name is Gulebu. 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 Oh, hello. Wow, you can see the charcoal on the inside. So that's going to give it a different aroma, right? Exactly, exactly. Amazing, and you can see the coal like right beside it. They've stacked it vertically. And look at that, the tail fat is on top. So the juices from this are going to drift down into the meat. And then you can see the layers of the tail fat inside there, the call fat as well. Oh, so he's just going to weigh it on the old style scale. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and look, he's just heating up the bread with the coal. Okay, here's the start of a sandwich. So we got tomato, pickle. Oh yeah, look at that, weighing it out. We're going to get 80 grams, 80 gram, right? Oh yeah, there it is. So we got the 80 gram. Yes, we got the gram. There's tomato, there's oh pickle. God. Yes. And yes. it's all wrapped up. Thank yes. you. <laughs> Beautiful. Who's it? Ding. Take it. <laughs> okay, let's just split it. Oh, look at that. Charcoal roasted donor. Charcoal roasted donor. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, you can taste the charcoal flavor. Really juicy. Yeah. All the meat in Turkey is juicy. At least the ones you brought us to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you Thank so you. much. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. See you. Wow, that was an awesome three kebab joints. And I yes. think we need a dessert now. Yeah, exactly. And some ice cream on top. Let's go. Okay, we're just walking through the Grand Bazaar and we're going for a ice cream dessert. Here there's a famous ice cream shop and people are queuing up 
uh, generally here. All right here. And they have an interesting dessert. It's a Turkish interpretation of the tres leches, which is a Mexican dessert. Oh. And it came all the way from uh, really? Mexico, and uh, so Turkish people uh, adapted it to their own taste. Okay. And so this is one of the speciality. Okay, here we go. Let's see how it's done. So oh, so this is the caraif. Caraif. Oh, the vermicelli. Yes. Turkish vermicelli soaked and in syrup. And we have learned yesterday how and, they make it. And pistachio, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then he just weighs it out. And then vanilla ice cream. Yeah, vanilla ice cream, but special food. Turkish dondoma. Also vanilla. Oh, and here's our... What's the name of this? Tirliche. Tirliche. It's a Turkish interpretation of the tres leches of Mexico. Oh, <laughs> so it's like a pudding. Yeah, it's a pudding. Okay, and let's take these. Yeah. And go try them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Oh, Thank you. Right. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Like, take by the color. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and here we are. So we got the kadaif, kadaif. which what is the, the vermicelli noodles yeah. soaked with syrup, uh -huh. and then pistachio, pistachio ice cream. And, and no, no pistachio. Yeah, pistachio. And then with the ice cream. With the ice cream, the special donduma Turkish wow. ice cream. And then Stage look at this. So they use three different milk. Oh, is that like a wheat in there? Wheat? Uh, what is well, that? Well, it's a little bit like biscuits. Biscuits. Eat it with the ice cream. Yeah, exactly. Together. So it's like Turkish tres leches. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah, caramel. Mm -hmm. And like something fruity it's in there. Very soft, huh? Oh yeah. It's really delicious with that milky caramel. Almost tastes fruity. Mm -hmm. And then the ice cream. The ice cream. Yeah. Very caramelly and soft. So ice Spongy. cream goes really well together with Turkish. Mm. Uh, traditional desserts. It's like a caramel sponge cake. Yeah, and it's very soft, right? Mm. Very soft and fluffy and airy. The really yeah, nice. After kebab, it goes good yeah, after all those kebabs. <laughs> Turkey's a food heaven. Yeah. Oh, wow. What an awesome time with Culinary Backstreet. You guys can check out the link in the description below. They're offering 10% off for any of their locations around the world if you use the coupon code FOODRANGER10. I personally really enjoyed all of the tours we did with Benoit and I'm really excited to try more. It's an awesome company and they bring you in deep. Thanks for watching guys. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks.